did some rearranging of the garage. You have flags, so those are up. And uh, it's an organization of tools and spars on the table. And now that the uh, wing root portion is done, gotta do whatever YouTuber says, smash that like button and subscribe. And now it's uh, looking like it's on to the spars. So um, I believe from the plans, I need to finish up the center splices, cut the notch for the wing strut support, create the steel support, steel strut support that goes right here, drill all those holes, and then I'll tear it apart. Um, and that'll be probably it for this. The next one will be, uh, the next vlog will probably be me painting and riveting this all together. So I got a lot to do. Um, I might break it up a little bit uh, so that you guys have more content. But um, yeah, I'll see if we can crank out some stuff. I don't think I have to buy anything. Uh, so that should speed up the process. And I have almost all of the rivets that I need. So, Harbor Freight, a lot of Harbor Freight stuff. Let's get to it. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna remove some more blue stuff, uh, which means I'm gonna take out the Clicos on this side, lay it down, and then um, I'll take out the Clicos, remove the blue stuff, and then put it on its side this way put some rivets through all the holes to make sure everything continues to line up and I'll get to work on the uh, center plate split the center splice whatever it's called what's it called the center splice plate there we go that's next surprisingly more difficult than I thought. I'm trying to just keep everything in order. I have it labeled, but my own sanity. I just want to make sure that I can line it back up. So I'm going to mop this up. Top components on this side, bottom components on this side, spar webs in the middle. Okay, before I do anything, I'm going to deburr all these holes. So, uh, do that. Then I'll deburr all the cap strips, front and back. And, uh, then I'll start working on the center splice. to deburr more holes. Look at that. All of those need to be deburred. Both sides and both pieces. That's <clears throat> the plan for today. I've got my uh, rivet squeezer. I'll attach that to something later. And that's, I'm going to use this to do the, the wing spars uh, just so I can have a little bit more control over it. But uh, that should fit. Let's see. Does it? Just barely. So. We'll be able to take care of that. Um, sweet!
holes for the right spar, right wing, main spar, are the bird. <sighs> My wrist hurts. Now on to the next portion of the build. So I put in some extra long rivets, uh, the dash 16s. Probably won't need any of them, but uh, they're good placeholders. So I put those in, have them mocked up. I'm gonna now mark out where the holes are supposed to go. Yeah, where the big holes are supposed to go. So there's gonna be a hole here, here, uh, not here. And check the plans here, 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 and here. The smaller hole right here. So uh, that's next. I just realized I have a spacer upside down. So, woot. So I just had to make sure that that was the right way. These, even though they look symmetrical, this way to this way, they're not. So um, this is the correct way. If it's like this, it's a little off. So I'm gonna mark where the rivets are supposed to go on here. Probably read the plans 25 more times uh, before drilling, and then um, see where it goes from there. Okay, so use my rivet fan get the spacing 38 holes so each one of these dots right here is a rivet um, so yeah I'm gonna stop for tonight it's that was you know these plans don't necessarily call out every single um, thing you kind of have to figure it out so I went off of uh, some of the plans and my builders guide on my computer right there uh, along with the hash marks on the plans and so it does say that there are 38-4 rivets that go into this thing um, and then I will clamp all of these together and start drilling um, and then once those are done I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with these match hole drill those it might just be a giant sandwich of things that I'm drilling together today I'm going to uh, transfer these holes 38 holes for rivets um, to all of the center plates just so that they're matched and then I will um, most likely match drill these later uh, I've got the um, the actual holes are laser cut so far and these will have to be countersunk for the double flush rivets so we'll make sure that gets done um, but first let's drill some holes to clamp them all together, use that as a reference point to keep them all lined up. That's a hole through the center. And start drilling.
splices have been drilled. I will deburr these holes, clean them up a little bit, and uh, then we can transfer some holes to this. So that'll be fun. Next up on the list is to deburr the center plates. So, got a little bit of deburring to do both sides. Um, and then I'll look at the instructions and see what's next, because I don't know. All the holes are drilled, so now it's time to line this up and drill through the center. Get everything matched. So I'm going to clamp that up, um, probably put a sacrificial piece of plywood underneath, and go for it. So now that these holes are all drilled um, and deburred, which I didn't show you that, but whatever, I still need to deburr the underside. Um, I'm going to open up these holes. So these holes are actually laser drilled, laser cut, um, and they are perfectly referenced on the plans right here. I'm going to open up the existing holes, the ones that aren't going to be drilled to the quarter inch as called in the plans. I'm going to open those up to um, the dash the, the number 30 drill bit so that I can put the flush rivets right here. So that's a flush rivet, that's a flush rivet, etc. That's a center point that will end up getting drilled, um, match drilled from there to here. Not doing a very good job at explaining it, so you'll just have to watch and find out. Start cutting the, um, the steel pieces. So this is the sheet. Uh, I believe that is 20 by 20, something like that. Um, I made this template by tracing the plans. Plan 16B. So trace that. Put on a piece of paper. Mark the holes. <clears throat> um, I'm leaving a little bit of a square right there. I'll shave it off as necessary if I need to. I'm um, going to cut this out, clean it up, and use that as the template for the rest. Um, so that's the plan. Now I need to see if I have a drill bit, not a drill bit, a saw blade that can handle it, which might be a challenge. We'll find out. Okay, that's not really working that well, so I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna try the oscillating tool, be a little bit more precise.
as you can see, that was not easy. Um, here's the part. I'm gonna clean it up on the belt sander. And I'm gonna get some better tools to do the rest of this. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. We'll see you in about five seconds. All right, it's time. Ooh. New day. Um, time to clean up this part. And smooth the edges, round it, and make everything nice and pretty because I am now more well equipped, more equipped, not more well equipped, more equipped, I've got a better tool. So I picked up this thin blade from my grinder and that will be able to cut through the steel. A little bit more amperage, um, the Dremel, yeah, took way too long. That's the plan for now. Clean up the part. Okay, so cleaned up the part, nice and shiny. Um, I modified the design a little bit, so come over here. Um, so the original design is just a straight piece, and uh, I wanted to have a little bit more of it, more attachment at the top. Um, so. Look at my template, added a little bit to it. And it's very hot. That's what the final product looks like. Sweet, so <clears throat> it's time to cut the the actual brackets out. Um, that's the task for today. You use the grinder, we'll get it done. too long so let's use a little magic three two one all right so the rough cuts done um, going to clean this up with the thicker grinder wheel um, and uh, make them nice and smooth so I made <coughs> Four, I'm gonna redo this one. This one's my template now. This will go up on the wall. Um, and then the four will be exactly the same. So I'll clamp them all together once I get one side done and uh, make them nice and perfect. And then instead of sanding the uh, finish, I'm gonna use one of the abrasive balls right there. So. That way I don't take off too much material. I think I took off a little bit too much material on this one. Ever so slightly. Uh, st this sheet is 0.19 inches, so I probably brought it down to like 0.175 inches. So I figured 
cutting anyway, might as well finish it. All right. New day. We're going to turn these into this. Got the floor set up. Not going to take off as much material. This is going to be my template pretty much. Um, and yeah, I got a uh, heavier grit sandpaper. So that's on there. That should take care of a lot of stuff a lot easier. I'm going to use the grinder and get the uh, initial profile down nicely. And then I'll clean it up on the belt sander. So that's the plan for now. Sweet. Today we are going to drill the holes in the wing attachment uh, spar, uh, whatever they're called, struts, wing attachment bracket, strut attachment brackets, there we go. Um, so per the plans, I drew up a little template, I'm going to tape down this thing so it doesn't move, center punch and drill right through the paper template. Uh, that way I don't have to worry about it moving around on me. It's all lined up, cranked down. Um, so let's get to it. Okay, <clears throat> I uh, opened these up to 1 8th. Um, now the final size per the plans is uh, a quarter inch. So, small hole to start, and I'll do the final size uh, next. All right, all four brackets have been drilled. I'm going to use an abrasive ball to uh, clean that up. So it'll be nice and pretty. So before, see if you can see it, there we go, and after, a lot shinier. Cool, well, all right, all the brackets are done, hold on in front of the camera. A little bit more deburring to do um, on the holes. And like on the edge, right, uh, let's see, can you see it right there? But all in all, I'm kind of happy with it, so pretty happy with it, sweet. So looking at the plans, the next step, um, now I've got the holes drilled. So each one of these holes is a quarter of an inch, except for that one, which is three eighths. Um, so I will be, drilling the 3 8 hole. Next up, match drill these holes onto this piece. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, uh, need to figure out a couple. So I'm just gonna do two because I still need to deburr that entire spar. Um, so first two will come out. That'll go attached to that. Um, so I decided. I'm probably going to mess up if I uh, try to drill through this entire thing at once. So what I'm going to do is 
drill, uh, cut the slot um, for this to pass through, line everything up, and then uh, center punch and then clamp everything together. So I'll do it in stages. Um, clamp this, this, and this all together, drill through, line up this with the holes that I've already drilled through here. So these holes, um, line those up, clico them in place, drill the existing holes through here, then line up the back plate similarly, and then drill through the existing pieces. Um, see if it works. So change on my mind again. I am actually going to drill straight through. I've got it clamped up, holes lined up. I'm gonna cut this slot now and uh, make sure that the top and bottom are lined up and uh, we'll go for it. Alright, there we go. I need to clean up this slot. That's kind of messy. It's also a little crooked. <laughs> but it works. All the holes line up. Got everything attached. And that's what it looks like. Oh, that's a huge accomplishment for me. <laughs> um, actually, I forgot. I need to drill all the individual holes. So all these little hash marks are where a hole goes on this and for some reason forgot to do that. Um, once that's done, I will transfer those holes to the actual spar web. So that's the task for today. So let's see. Now uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sweet. I'm gonna center punch these, line everything up with the other brackets, and uh, we'll get to cutting. So I used a couple rivets to hold everything together. I'm going to pre-drill with a 3 seconds drill bit, and then I'll do final sizing to the number 21 once that's in there. So sweet, let's get to it. And all the holes are drilled, look at that. Boom. So now that the brackets are installed, not installed, drilled, I'm gonna drill through the spar web. So straight through, get everything lined up. We're gonna end up on the other side. I've got some rivets in here to make sure that everything stays lined up. These and that, we'll be good to go. Um, the last two things I need to do um, are, let's see, I need to 
drill the lightning holes, lightening holes. So uh, per the plans, there are these holes. I've marked them. I just need to drill them now. So I need to make these fillers. Uh, so those times two. Uh, and that needs to be made out of one eighth. So this is the, yeah, the, this is the quarter inch uh, spacer material. And I actually have, if I can reach it, a piece that goes right there and then right there. So that shouldn't be too difficult. Um, I also need to make it for the other side as well. So uh, that'll be the goal for today. After this video, I'm gonna try a different format. I'm going to um, do a lot more frequent posts, just shorter. So they're gonna be like five-ish minutes or so of individual tasks. Um, that way I can keep things more relevant and you're not waiting you know, a month for the next video. Um, it also motivates me to uh, post more frequently and then maybe get some more engagement from you guys. So that's the plan for today. Let's get this done and then I'll figure out the holes. Um, I think I need to buy a couple additional tools for the holes, but that'll come. Sweet. Okay, so the distance from here to the inner side of that. It's about 3.2 inches in a straight line, and then I'll angle it so that it fits snugly. and snug in there. Okay, now that those are made, I've got two of them. So I built two of those. I'm gonna make the top side. So, same thing. Let's do it all over again. Alright, I just uh, made all these. So, they now fit right here, like that, and like that. So, I'll line up the holes, but they're match drilled, so those work, and the back side works as well. Now, to figure out what to do with these holes. Um, but that's probably it for this vlog. Um, like I said, I'm going to go into a new format uh, so that you have a bunch of little videos and um, the content keeps on coming. So that'll start for the next video, which hopefully will be in like a couple days. Sweet. See ya.